If you can think about uh, the reaching the highest pinnacle, especially for a probably 15, 16 year old kid finishing an undefeated season, and then seconds later having kind of the rug pulled from under your feet. First of all, this is our fifth annual Never Forgotten Game. So we've, we've tried to make it grow. And this year, if you can tell by the shirts that we have an Indian and we have a Black Hawk facing each other, and we're kind of creating that rivalry. The ability of our community to kind of not forget uh, you know, there's a varsity kid out playing on the varsity tonight who, you know, when he was a young elementary kid, you know, he was, a, it was, Wes's, Wes was his idol. I don't really know how to put it into words other than it's just, I'm happy that I could play in the game and honor Wes, who I grew up watching play, and I like to model my game a lot after him and do a lot of the same things that he did, just the way that he carried himself and the way that he played. It's because I get to remember a kid uh, that uh, was has influenced me in a short time that I had got to know him and uh, you know I get to look back and remember a lot of things that he did and, and his uh, his smile which brings a smile to my face when I think about just how happy he was and the competitor he was and those type of things. I, I would just like for uh, schools to have to be mandated to have AEDs and so that would be my next but I would like for it to happen nationally you know I'd like whoever's president next year would say, well, you know, all, you know, our prisons have to have AEDs. Let's have uh, AEDs in our school. First of all, the rivalry itself is, you know, it's amazing. Um, you know, in my opinion, one of the best in the state. Um, obviously, I'm biased, but, um, you know, the, the, the passion uh, that both communities show for this type of game. I think uh, there's still, you know, like I said, uh, the intenseness of uh, competing against one another when you're so close as, as two communities are and you uh, battle, have been battling for, you know, years and years and years. Um, I think it shows a great amount of uh, maturity, especially from the kids' standpoint, that you know they can be off the court and they can still kind of understand what we're trying to accomplish with tonight's uh, game. I desperately want to win that game. There's a lot of pride on the line, um, a lot of uh, passion for, for the schools, for the communities, uh, from the communities. Um, so you know that, that's that's your starting base right there. And uh, then you add this game on, um, on top of it, the uh, Never Forgotten game, and uh, it just takes it to that next, next level. It brings out more people to support um, the event itself, uh, which is just an amazing thing. Um, but when you have that much support uh, already, um, and now you're adding people who normally wouldn't come maybe to a basketball game, um, but want to support the cause, um, now you have just a special, special event. Playing in the rivalry game is, it's just a fun time. They're our rival school and all, but I feel like for this game, everybody kind of comes together and we play for one good cause. It's definitely fun, you know, it's not something everyone gets to, like, take, take part in and it's, it's a big opportunity for us and I'm glad we have a lot of fans that come out for it. I mean, there's multiple aspects that go into preparing for this game. I mean, number one, uh, you know, first and foremost, you're always looking at the standings. Um, Finland and South Tech are in the same division. We're constantly uh, battling for that top spot. Um, so, you know, you're, you're always competitive with that aspect of it. Um, you know, and then you throw in there the preparation for the fans, the atmosphere. Um, and that can be a little difficult. I even have some buddies from there, and in the summertime, I like to spend a lot of time over there. You know, they're real close to the water. But when it comes to sports, it's just... All friendships go out the window, all girlfriends go out the window, all girls go out the window, and it's just competitive. And I mean, they're my friends and all, but I want to beat them. It's, it's a rivalry, but at the same time, it's just all about being one. It's more real, 
Like, I mean, all these other games, are, you know, they're fun, but this reminds us that you have to take every game, play it like it's your last. I mean, because you never know what's going to happen. You never know when your last game's going to be. So, I mean, you definitely can't take it for granted. Thank you.